Hey guys, welcome to Recipes Tested. I'm Brianna Robinson, and today I feel like I need to take my glasses off. I don't know. We'll see. So today for Recipes Testober, I'm going to be making... Hang on. Another recipe from this book. I'm going to be making Gaines Family Chili. Oh, okay. So I have a little story about this chili recipe. So I'm going to take these off. Hurt my eyes. So when I was a kid, my mother never made chili from scratch. We always just had the canned chili. And that was just what chili, chili was to me. And when I became an adult, I was like, hey, I want to make that at my kitchen. So I went and made a couple of recipes. I tried the Laura in the Kitchen one. I tried a bunch from Pinterest. Um, I don't know. And then I made the one from here. To me, the Gaines family chili tastes like a really amped up version of the canned chili that I grew up eating, which was kind of ingrained into my head what chili should taste like. So that's why I really, really like this. It's really just a couple of steps up of the same kind of flavor profile. It's not like a completely different recipe. I find that a lot of homemade chilies are very like acidic and very tomato based. And this one's not like this. In fact, this one is super easy. So I will leave an Amazon link where you can buy it. Just a plain old Amazon link. It's not even like an affiliate link or anything like that. Down in the description below so that you can make this and get this book if you would like to. This is just the chili recipe that I honestly will always make when I make chili. This is just gonna be the one. In fact, we have it every year on Halloween with some cornbread. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the process of how it's made. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to give it a taste and let you know if it's love at first bite. So if you wanna see how this recipe turns out, just keep watching and I'll get testing. So first I just took my chopped onion and just basically browned that in my big Dutch oven. And once that was all got, you know, browned edges, not caramelized or anything, I added two pounds of gra grass-fed ground beef and just cooked that up until there was no pink in the middle anymore. And then added in my canned tomatoes. And then specifically ranch-style beans. This really makes a big difference. Not drained or anything, just two full cans of the beans. And then I mixed that all together. And I really wish I would have strained the fat off the beef, but whoops, you forget, you move on. But I just mixed everything together and let it simmer for about 20 minutes, and that was it. And then I bowled it up. This time I used a bowl and not a mug. And really, the biggest thing is the topping. So I got my sharp cheddar cheese and sprinkled that apparently as slowly as possible on top. and my Fritos with some sour cream and some green onions, and that was it. All righty, chili's done, so I'm just gonna give it a taste and let you know if it's love at first bite. It was hot. Mmm, it's good. I didn't test it for seasoning before I served it. I do need to add a little bit more salt and pepper, but otherwise, this is phenomenal, guys. It's just so comforting. So like meaty and beans, and it's got like the perfect amount of seasoning from the specific beans that we used. It's just phenomenal, guys. I hope that you guys make it. We will definitely be having this on Halloween. The process was easy. It was chop, brown, dump, simmer, and that's it. It was super easy. I just, I have no, nothing bad to say about this chili. I rate this probably higher than a 10 out of 10. And it makes so much. We will have a hearty, hearty dinner tonight, and we'll have leftovers for lunch tomorrow. This is really good. Probably make that chili cheese dip. I'll link that up here if you haven't seen it yet because it's so simple, but it's so good. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here and finish our dinner, but thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me for this recipe. And this episode of Recipes Testover, I really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe while you're here and give me a thumbs up for chili. And I will see you guys with my next video. Bye. <laughs>